Let's write a C program to print multiplication table using macros. So in this format you can see on your computer screen right now. So I'll take two integer variables num to store the number for which we need to print the multiplication table count to print the multiplication table from 1 to 10. So we initialize the count value to 1. I'll ask the user to input a positive number and store it inside the address of integer variable num. Now let me output a nice message onto the console window that is multiplication table for percentage D is let me have a couple of new line characters here so the value is present inside the variable num now let me write while loop this loop should execute until count is less than or equal to 10 because we need to print multiplication table from 1 to 10. So inside while loop I'll keep incrementing the value of count by 1 for each iteration of this while loop. Now let me define a macro by name multi and then we shall pass num and count to it. Let me write a macro expansion in the new line. So I'll write a printf statement and we already know the format to print a multiplication table that is percentage %d into percentage %d is equal to the result. So the values are present inside num count and num into count. So let me write this macro template inside while loop here. So that completes our program for each iteration this line of code will be executed because this macro expansion will have already been replacing this macro template before compilation itself. So let us check that. I'll give 5. It should print multiplication table for 5. And it's working correctly. Let me check for another number. I'll give double digit now 14. And it's working. So how does this work? This macro expansion this macro template will be replaced by its macro expansion, this line of code, by preprocessor before compilation. Once it's replaced, the source code is fed into compiler and then the compilation takes place. So that's how multiplication table is printed uh, with the help of macro. So that's it. Please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code, notes and discussion about this topic. Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends on WhatsApp, Telegram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.